Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the hard engineering strategies used to manage rivers. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, River Landscapes. Many rivers are protected by hard engineering. This is when structures are built to reduce the risk of flooding. The first method of hard engineering that we are going to look at is dams and reservoirs. A dam is a concrete barrier built across a river to control the flow of water. It does this by using sluice gates to release the water. Dams restrict the level of water downstream and they lower the risk of flooding. And behind the dam the river valley will flood to create a reservoir. There are lots of advantages to building dams and reservoirs. Firstly, the risk of flooding is minimal as releases of water are highly controlled. Secondly, the dam can be used to generate hydroelectric power, which is renewable and doesn't emit carbon dioxide. Thirdly, the reservoir is used for water storage, which supplies water for domestic industrial uses. On the screen, you've got a picture of the Elam Valley, which has a system of dams. These supply water to cities in northwest of England, such as Manchester. And finally, it can also be used for leisure, such as water sports, so that they boost tourist income. But dams are controversial and there are many disadvantages to them. They are the most expensive type of hard engineering and they have a large impact on the river valley. Flooding behind the dam causes displacement and loss of farmland. And less water downstream can also affect farming. So for example, less water downstream means less alluvium being deposited and this decreases soil fertility. There is also an impact on fishing. Fish gets trapped behind the dam as does sediment which causes silt to build up. Sudden releases of water can also cause erosion downstream. Finally, there is an impact on marine habitats as the deep reservoir is much colder than the original river and many species will struggle to adapt. The second method of hard engineering that we're going to look at is channel straightening, where the original river is engineered to be wider, straighter and deeper. This makes the river travel faster through an area, so water is removed more quickly, reducing the risk of flooding. The advantage of channel straightening is water is being moved out of the area more quickly as there is less friction with the riverbed and banks to slow down the flow. The faster flowing water stops sediment from building up, so there is less need for dredging. It can also improve navigation, which improves travel and trade links. Finally, local properties are protected, which lowers home insurance premiums in the area. But there are some disadvantages of using this method of hard engineering. Water is fast flowing through the straightened sections and has to slow down considerably when it starts to bend downstream. This loss of energy causes deposition to occur and sedimentation can increase the risk of flooding and the need for dredging. It is also a very expensive solution as it requires a lot of engineering and the additional dredging that is needed downstream will also be expensive. There is also an impact on the river ecosystem which can destroy habitats and lower biodiversity. For example, straightened rivers are often lined with concrete which is unnatural and it stops animals burrowing into the riverbank. Our third hard engineering strategy to manage rivers is embankments. An embankment is an artificially raised riverbank made by building up mounds of impermeable soil. By making the riverbank higher, the channel is able to hold more water before it floods, so therefore the flood risk is reduced. Embankments may be reinforced by gabion cages or lined with concrete, particularly in large urban areas as shown on the screen. There are several advantages of embankments. The increased capacity means the river is less likely to burst its banks, so it protects homes and businesses along the river. Embankments are much cheaper than other hard engineering strategies, although this is dependent on the type of embankment. Additionally, embankments made from earth provide important wildlife habitats, although the ones on the screen that are made from concrete do not. And they also provide leisure facilities, for example, concrete embankments are good for cycling and walking on. But of course, there are disadvantages as with all types of hard engineering. Embankments are less reliable than other methods of hard engineering as they are often breached. They need continual monitoring and repairs so maintenance costs can be considerable. 
and earth embankments are prone to erosion, which causes sedimentation of the riverbed, which will eventually need expensive dredging. Additionally, if it does flood, it's hard for the water to drain back into the river once it's crossed over the raised riverbank. Finally, many argue that gabions and concrete reinforcements are unattractive and destroy river habitats, and that embankments interfere with access to the river. Our last method of hard engineering to consider is flood relief channels. If a river frequently floods, it may have an artificial channel built as a backup. The man-made channel is parallel to the main river and works like a bypass and in times of high discharge a gate will automatically close off the main river and divert water through the artificial spillway to reduce the risk of the main river flooding. The advantages of the flood relief channels are they protect homes and businesses from flooding so reduce insurance premiums and increase property values. They are often used as leisure amenities such as cycle paths along the new channel and calm water for swimming, paddle boarding and kayaking. They often have reed beds planted which provide important wildlife habitats. On the other hand, the disadvantages to flood relief channels include the displacement of people living along the path of the relief channel. They are also expensive to build and need constant maintenance and repair which is also expensive and they are very time consuming to construct. In addition, there is an increased flood risk downstream as the merging of water from the flood relief channel and the main channel increases discharge. Finally, they can disturb habitats and in times of low flow, the relief channels look unpleasant as all the concrete is exposed. And this is also bad for wildlife. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on hard engineering strategies used to manage rivers. Thank you for watching.